So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video. So here I will provide you the most important information for all the JES student that is JOSA counseling 2022 information. All you need to know about the JOSA counseling here I will consider. So if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe this channel so that you will be getting all the updated information at the right time for JOSA counseling 2022. I have already provided you the cutoff video about NIT, IIIT, GFTI, IITs as well. You can check all those videos in the same channel by going into the playlist. Different playlists are available. So I am requesting you please try to support me as well so that I will be guiding you and I, I can promise you if you will join with this channel you will be getting all the update and you will able to join the best college by the end of this year and also I will be guiding you for the complete counseling process by, by taking a nominal fee because it will it will take lots of time to guide you properly for everything it is choice filling decision making everything document verification up to your admission is done that is physical verification everything I will be doing for you up to your admission is done so that you will get the best college with best possible brand so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so let's continue this video that is here i will consider the schedule calls that you can get through josa counseling fee detail document required choice filling reservation rules that is that you need to follow refund policy so if you don't know about uh, about the josa counseling that is anything then this video is for you so please try to watch the video up to the admin up to the last so that you will be getting the complete information so first of all let's talk about the overview so total seat around 53,000. I have already provided the number of seat uh, for each category in each type of college that is uh, NIT, Triple IT, GFTI, IITs as well. You can check that video in the i button as well as the discipline box. A student with J rank will be eligible for the counseling process. You will have you you should have the J rank J means rank or J advanced rank. If you have both, then obviously you are you are you will be eligible for both uh, all type of college. If you have only J means rank then you will be eligible for NIT Triple IT GFTI college. So total college is around 114 and this year they may add one more one or two more GFTI college because NIT IIT will not be added new. If NIT or IIT is going to be added that uh, the information is provided so uh, so many days before itself but now this year there is no addition of NIT Triple IT college or uh, uh, IIT college but there may be addition of some GFTI college. So as of now it is 114 all IIT and IT triple IT GFTI and IIST Sipur as well we will be getting through this counseling and a starting date is as of now 12th of September but it may change depending on the J advanced examination date as of now the date is fixed that is 12th of September but it may change now if you talk about the number of rounds there will be around six round last year there was six rounds so it can be six round or seven round as well but I think at least six round will be there for the counseling process and how you need to do that that I will talk also later in this video one time choice filling will be done that is very important unlike of other counseling here you have to do only one time choice filling once you do mistake you will be regretting for all the six round nothing will be done no one can help you because choice filling is very important that's why i'm here to guide you properly for that because no no website or software can help you in choice filling because choice filling is personal thing and different students have different type of interest different type of rank different type of family background so what you should choose what you should not that is very important that type that is possible only with a personal discussion and once you register with my guidance i will be connected to you all the time and the unique feature of my guidance is that i will be available for you all the time from 10 am up to midnight so that you will be asking your doubt any number of time for any duration you can call me and but the important thing is that all the process choice filling decision making document verification physical verification up to your admission is done everything will be done by me and the complete schedule will be provided later that is round wise when the first round will be done second round third round up to sixth round and there will be CSAF counseling as well so please try to listen my word if you will not able to get the college through JOSA counseling CSAF counseling is for you and very soon I will try to provide the CSAF counseling detail like this Jack Daily counseling like this for IPU I have already provided the video so please try to check all those video and please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will be getting upcoming video in this same channel so now let's talk about the document required it is very important thing so 10th and 12th marks it will be required category certificate will be required that is your SCST, OBC, EWS or PWD whatever category certificate in the original form the required format will be required only in JE advanced registration format so no need to worry if you will provide the original certificate that is also valid and for EWS or OBC certificate should be made after 1st April because EWS or OBC status is getting changed for different strand in different years. So if you are eligible for that then only you will be getting the benefit of EWS or OBC and for that you have to provide the certificate which is made on or after 1st of April. And GE means admit card will be required, bank passbook and medical certificate. Bank passbook is required because suppose if you will pay some fee and later if you, if you want to get the refund that will be processed in that bank account 
and medical certificate it is required that is your body weight and a uh, blood group all type of uh, general information will be will be done and medical certificate even made by your local doctor or government private any type of doctor it is just a formality and the do document that you need to fill that is the pdf you will be getting on the official website and the link or i have already provided in my different videos so now uh, and also the pwd original certificate will be required for pwd content so now let's talk about the choice filling as i said one time choice filling is uh, will be done all colleges and branches will be filled at once it is iit and it triple it gfti there will be no separate choice filling you have to fill all the same uh, suppose if you will get uh, advanced rank as well as mains rank as well so what you should know uh, what you should do at that time that is with that is you should go with uh, iit college with lower branch or nit college with best branch or top nit or lower iits so everything will be disposed by me personally so that you will able to join the best college because it is also about your future not only for four years of college because after that you have to do the job with your branch so branch is also uh, also having the most priority for the student so i will be discussing that and, and it is very important as i said uh, choice filling process is the most important process of counseling process because your because your allotment will depend on that directly so hope you get this complete information if you want you can contact me through insta or whatsapp available in the description box but only if you want because there is some nominal charge applicable for the counseling guidance so now if you talk about the reservation policy so category wise reservation are available uh, for all the category that is for obc 27% sc 15% ews 10% st 7.5% uh, for pwd 5% and female student also are having the separate uh, separate cutoff because for nit you will be getting the female cutoff for iit as well in some triple it as well and gfi also i have already discussed all those things that is cutoff separate category wise male female everything you will able to check in the same channel in the i button or in the description box you will get the link or you can go to channel playlist so now simple freeze plot slide withdraw option will be available so now i would like to explain this thing that is freeze means you are happy suppose in first round you got any type of college and you are happy with that you don't want to go for the next round and you want to take it we want to take the admission in that college itself so you have to do the freeze that means you are happy with the seat you don't want to go further in the counseling process float means you will take that seat but hoping for the best seat in the next round that means you will consider that seat that seat will be reserved until unless you will get another seat uh, if you will get another seat in next round the previous seat will be lost new seat will be retained and if you will not get anything that is next uh, in the next round then your previous seat will be retained and slide means you want to get the same college with different type of branch suppose you got any type of uh, any type of branch in nit kurukshetra you want to get the other branch in nit kurukshetra then you have to do the slide option and withdraw means you don't want to do the counseling process even after paying you need you can do the withdraw option you will able to get the refund for that so this was the complete decision making of the josa counseling and and refund up to before the last round that is up to, uh, before the sixth round you will able to take the refund if you don't want to take the admission you can ask for the refund that is withdrawal option and registration fee is 2000 once you register for josa counseling they will charge you around 2000 it can change because every year it changes a little bit so it can be 2.5000 or 1.5000 as well seat acceptance fee is 35000 as of now it can also change it can be 40000 or 45000 for general obc ews for sc st pwd it is 15000 only so this was the complete information about the josa counseling 2022 that is all process step by step i have considered that is all you need to know about josa counseling so hope you find this information very useful for you so please try to subscribe this channel so that you will be getting all the updated information at the right time in the same channel thanks